What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, guys. How you doing today? Um, got another vid today, and we got a cat in the background going nuts. Um, as for usual, guys, drop a comment, drop a like because we're giving away 10k, guys. 75 likes on the vid. Um, how to prepare for the roster update, baby? Um, it's very simple. Just follow these steps, and you will make a ton of stubs right before the roster update. So. Let's get into it. Um, drop a like, comment, any comment you want, a question, whatever, and you qualify for the giveaway. Um, 75 likes on the video, we give it away. So, um, yes, this is going to help you a lot. It's going to make you stubs. It's going to be very, very helpful. So let's get into it. Another MLB vid. We'll probably have a pack opening later if they drop headliners. So let's get into it. So let's first, we need to look at who's going to get upgraded. I think Jose Ramirez is going to get upgraded. That's my number one diamond on the list. So let's go look at the 84s and see what's going on with them. I'm going to tell you what to do. Supposedly Bryce Harper, people think he's going gold. So with that being said, he is getting sold right now. Um, I don't think he's going to go gold, but just in case, I'm going to sell him. All right. So this is what I'm going to recommend for you guys. It's going to help a lot. So as you can see, a lot of people somewhat think Story's going diamond. Some people don't think he's going diamond. Personally, I don't think anybody's going down besides right here, Ryu and Jose Ramirez and Granky. Um, let's check Jose Ramirez's price. All right, so what I'm noticing right now, um, what you guys want to do, since Ryu's already 5K, you could go ahead and sell him just because what happens if he doesn't go diamond? Um, if he doesn't go diamond, you lose stubs. And actually, hold on. If he doesn't go diamond, um, you're going to lose a ton of stubs. Um, you're going to lose a lot of stubs. You're going to be upset. And it's going to suck because he's going to go down to like 3K. So this is what I recommend doing. Um, since they're already at 4900 him and Granky are very expensive. I would go ahead and sell them now. Get your stubs now. And then prepare for the market crash. So I know a lot of my subs have a ton of Grankies and Ryu. So this is what I'm going to tell you to do. So since you probably bought them around 3k or under, um, you could go ahead and sell them now. And this is why I say you're not going to lose any stubs. So you're not going to lose any stubs because they're probably going to drop packs causing the market to crash. So with the market crashing, uh, with the market crashing, you want to, um, what's it called? With the market crashing, you just want to sell your players now and make sure that you get your maximum amount of stubs before anything happens on the roster update. So what I'm saying is, since even if they go to 5k, 5,500, okay, let's say you lose 500 subs off each of them after the reduction. Um, if you quick sell Ryu, let's say you sell him right now for 49, he sells for 45 clean. Okay, so you lose 500 off each, which isn't a big deal because... You're going to have enough stubs to make stubs off the market crash, which means you're probably going to make more stubs. Who really cares about losing 500 stubs? Um, even if you have 10, you lose 5K, you can make that back right away because the market's probably going to crash with the headliner packs. So what I recommend doing right now. So people think Story's going diamond. People think Granky's going diamond. People think Ryu's going diamond. People think Jose Ramirez is going diamond. So with that said, sell now, get ready for the market crash, and make extra stubs. It's going to be... A lot easier to make money off the market crash because everything's going to go down with packs and everything's very high right now. So just keep that in mind. Also, I want to take a look at Trey Turner because Trey Turner, um, let's find him real quick. People think Vasquez is going diamond. I don't think so. If you have him, you can just go ahead and sell him. Uh, let's find Trey Turner. There he is. So he's only at 14 of his stubs. As you can see, I have 20. Yo, if you're watching this, Go pick up as many Trey Turners as you can because he's actually playing very well right now. I think he should go up to an 84. We will see though. And also, if you don't have Devers, he's going to be gold. If you have him, you're lit. If you got him for what, when he was 77 stubs like I did, um, you're welcome. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to try to pick up around 100 Trey Turners just because Trey Turner is 100% going to go dime this year. I highly recommend you pick him up. As you can see, I'm posting as many um, orders on him as possible. And especially... Even if he doesn't go up, only if he goes up to an 84, you know how many stubs you're going to make? Just if he goes to an 84, he's going to go up to 2 to 3K right away. 
So his price is definitely going to jump. I'd say he gets upgraded in 84. He was in 84. He got downgraded. Now he's probably going to get upgraded again. Um, Edwin Diaz, um, he could go diamond again, but not anytime soon. I mean, he did good last night. He gave a home run, but he did have three strikeouts and a save. Um, hopefully he turns it around the second half. He's doing decent so far. I mean, he does have a blown save, but could go diamond again. We'll see how it pans out. Trevor Bauer did get traded. He's going to be on the Reds uniform. I mean, not the Reds. Yeah, the Reds uniform. But would he go diamond on the Reds? It's possible. I have 25 Bowers. Hopefully, he does um, do good on the Reds. Probably not, though. Uh, hopefully, he does. With the Indians offense versus the Reds offense, it's kind of different, man. Um, let's see. Whit Merrifield is doing decent. Luis Castillo is actually very slept on. And he has a very, very big price gap right now. So I'm going to try to take advantage and get this Luis Castillo. He's one of the top pitchers in the league right now. And he's really slept on. I, it's like, it's kind of weird how he hasn't got upgraded at all. I feel like he's very freaking good. And in, like, to me, a thousand coins, a thousand stubs is very, very cheap. And it's definitely worth the pickup. My Harper did sell. So if you guys did not sell Harper, just get rid of him. Just make sure you get rid of him before anything crazy happens. We have 18 Charlie Blackwoods as well. Um, Kettle Marte might get an upgrade. Let's just look at Devers' price because I know a lot of people love Devers like I do. Let's check it out. So Devers is already gold value. If you want to go ahead and sell him, you can. Personally, I'm not selling any of my Devers because I'm obsessed with the dude. He literally could go dime this year. Literally, in fantasy, he is a top five player. He is ranked four on the season, and he has he is the best player this month and last month on the stat uh, stats-wise. So... I'm holding on to Devers. He's literally the one of the best hitters like this year. He's absolutely amazing. He's batting like 330. He's got 20 something homers. Playing absolutely amazing. Um also I want to look at Strowman. Is Strowman gold yet? I don't think Strowman's gold yet because of his L's. Uh let's see. Okay, so Marcus Strowman's is 76. Now, at 180 stubs, I actually kind of think this is a pretty freaking good investment. Um he's on the Mets now. The Mets are really starting to make playoffs bro they're only out by four games in a wild card they won seven straight absolutely amazing i am so excited as a mets fan like they just shut out they swept the white Sox, swept the pirate yo they're looking like a team and a half the freaking team's coming together conforto's playing well everybody's playing well our pitching staff is the best we have the best record after all-star break we have the best era after all-star break so right now the mets are looking fire and Marcus Stroman seems like a good investment, especially since the Mets are going all out for playoffs. And we have a weak schedule going forward. Stroman pitches on Saturday. Let's hope he does good, Mets fans. Let's go. Um, Hunter Renfro, is he gold yet? He is. Um, uh, if you have him, I would go ahead and sell him just in case anything crazy happens to him. Uh, he'll probably slow down soon. Yuli Gurriel, bro, if you have him for 1000 you could go ahead and sell him. He probably won't go diamond this year. He might. You never know. But... Do you really want to wait that long? It could take the whole year for him to go diamond. We got like, what, a month and a half left of baseball? You could go ahead and sell him if you want. Tim Anderson might go gold. We don't know. He's batting like three something on the season. He's doing pretty good. He might go gold soon. If you want to invest at 406, not a bad investment. Just hope he picks it up over the next couple weeks. Um, Conforto could go gold. He's been playing very well. It's very possible he goes gold. Not this update, maybe next update. And really, that's all I really got. And let's check out Altuve's price, actually. Um, Altuve's price. Here it is. Uh, yo, guys, I just got offered a sponsorship. So he did go up like 2K since last vid. I just got offered a sponsorship from Madden Coins, bro. I'm not even posting Madden anymore. It was crazy. They offered me $100 a month. I was like, first of all, my channel's way worth more than $100 a month. Second of all, I don't even post Madden. So get the hell out of here. Um, but yeah, I can't believe I got offered a sponsorship for Madden. It's kind of crazy. Um, we got 110,000 Bob Feller. Now listen, I'm going to also tell you guys to sell every single card you got if you did not watch last video. As you can see, I'm selling all my cards. Everybody's got to go. I don't trust the market anymore. After what happened to me last time, everybody's got to go. I got to sell my players. I'm going to sell them in this vid. Just believe me. Just listen to bugs. You'll make stubs. If you sell your players now, you can buy them back for cheaper. It's that simple. I do it every single week. That's why I have so many stubs. I know I don't have every collection completed, but in my opinion, I feel like it's a waste. In my opinion. I mean, it's just my opinion. I feel like um, doing all the collections is just a big waste of stubs, especially since you're not even going to use anywhere near the amount of players that you got in the collection. So that's just me. 
Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for supporting Bugs. We are out here. We're closing it on 1,400 subscribers. So thank you guys once again. And guys, just keep coming out to the vids, baby. We got two vids today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. Oh, oh.